Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if your laptop is switching between AC and the battery when you're playing games. Now, there are a couple of steps uh, which you can try to get this issue resolved. Now, before we start with the slightly complex solution, I would suggest you to try the quick step, which is try installing the possible available updates in your Windows and see if the problem persists. Now, the, to install or to check for the Windows updates, you will have to do a right click on the Start button and then click on Settings. Once you're on the Settings page, at the extreme bottom left corner, you will see an option which says Windows Updates. So under Windows Updates, uh, as soon as you click on Windows Updates, at times uh, your Windows would go ahead and check for the possible available updates in case if you don't see any progress bar. You would see an option which says check for the windows updates here you can go ahead and click on check for the windows updates that will go ahead and check for the possible uh, windows updates and uh, once there are available updates you would see the option what is being currently um, there on my computer screen so you would see the same option once there are any available updates and once the updates are downloaded it would give you a prompt to go ahead and restart the computer or or you can also reschedule this tea tart or re restart so in case if you want to go ahead and install the up in case if you want to go ahead and install the updates right away you may go ahead and click on restart now once the system restart is complete it will uh, the updates would be uh, completed completely installed on your computer once the updates has been completely installed on the computer check if the problem persists that's the first step now, in case if the issue has been resolved, you don't have to try the next step. Now, as a next step, uh, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and run the Power Troubleshooter. Uh, now, to run the Power Troubleshooter, you may go ahead and click on the search and type RUN in the search box. At the same time, you may go ahead and press Windows and R key simultaneously, which will open the run window. So, once you have the run window, you will have to go ahead and type the command which says msdt.exe space forward slash id space power diagnostic and then click on ok so this would open the power troubleshooter on your computer screen you would see an option which says advanced when you click on advanced you um, by default you would see that the apply repairs automatically you would have an option to go and uncheck the option but i would suggest you to keep it as is click on next it will try to go ahead and detect any issues and if there are any issues detected uh, it will give you a prompt it says troubleshoot as completed uh, if there are no repairs or no issues you would see this option in case if there are any repairs you may you would get an option to uh, and you will have to go ahead and follow the steps on the screen once the troubleshooting is completed you may go ahead and click on ok and then try to see if the issue uh, will persist in case if the issue is still the same as the next step i would suggest you to go ahead and do is i would suggest you to go ahead and reinstall or update the battery driver how do you go ahead and do uh, update the battery driver you may go ahead and click on the start button do a right click on the start button and that you would see the list on this list click on the device manager basically the device manager will show you all the list of drivers which are there on your computer under device manager click on the batteries right here and you would see an option which says microsoft acpi compliant control method battery do a right click and click on update driver and then click on search automatically for the drivers and then click on close once it is done uh, check if your if the problem persists in case if you're still facing a problem as a next step uh, is to go ahead and uninstall the battery drivers and reinstall it so again you will have to get to the device manager window once you have the device manager window open you will have to do a right click on microsoft acpi compliant control method battery click on uninstall device once you click on uninstall device, uh, you will have to follow the steps on the screen that will go ahead and uninstall the battery driver. Restart the computer. Now, when you restart the computer, the battery driver should automatically install. In case if they are not automatically installed, then you will have to uh, navigate. You will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. 
once you have the device manager you will have to expand batteries and do a right click on ACPI compliant under this section you will see an option to go ahead and install the up, up, uh, driver in at the same time what you can also do is you can click on scan for hardware changes and see if there are any possible updates available for the battery driver once it is done try to check if the problem persists in case if you're still facing the same problem then as a next step or what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and change the power management mode settings for your nvidia control panel and please note the steps which i'm going to try are for the nvidia control panel if you are using another graphic drive adapter look for the equivalent settings and similar changes uh, in case if you are using any other graphic driver you may go ahead and google for uh, the specific control panel and, uh, and look for power management mode settings now if you're using nvidia control panel you can go ahead and type nvidia here that should open nvidia control panel as a best match click on it once you have the nvidia control panel on the screen under this section you will have to you will see on the left hand side you will see 3d settings and then click on manage 3d settings under this section you will have to go ahead and click on high performance nvidia control and on the small box you will have to look for power management or power for computer performance now under this section let me take you to okay power and here from the from the list you will have to go ahead and select prefer maximum performance once you click on prefer maximum performance uh, you may go ahead and click on apply and then click on okay uh, you may you will see an option to click on if you want to apply these changes click on apply these changes restart the computer and uh, check if the problem persists in case if you're still facing a problem uh, the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and perform a system restore now before performing a system restore i would strongly advise you to go ahead and create a restore point so let's talk a bit about how to create a restore point and then i will talk about how to create a system restore so to create a restore point you will have to go ahead and in the search box you can go ahead and type create restore point you will see the best match as create restore point and as soon as you click on that you will see a system properties window under system protection you will you will see an option which says create for create a restore point right now for the drivers that have uh, system protection turned on so you may click on create and give a name here so once it is done you may go ahead and click on create that would go ahead and create a restore point now this might take about 5 or 10 or maybe more than 15 or 30 minutes that depends on the uh, amount of data what you have on the computer once the restore point is created uh, you will have to go ahead and create uh, you will have to go ahead and uh, restart the computer once you restart the computer in the search box go ahead and type create restore point again that will bring you back to the same option once you have this window go to system protection and click on system restore under this section your windows will go ahead and check for the uh, latest uh, windows restore point in my case my restore point has been 12 1 2024 that's the uh, latest restore point in case if you want to navigate for more restore system points you may click on this option if there are any more restore points created in your windows you will see these options so you will have to go ahead and select the restore point date so if you want to take your computer back to uh, 12 1 2024 10 39 am then you may go ahead and select the date if you want to take your, take your computer back to 2023 you may go ahead and select the date for 21 12 2023 uh, in case if you don't see any changes uh, or don't see any restore point which you have recently created you may go ahead and click on scan for affected programs so if there are any programs 
which might affect because of this restore point you may go ahead and click on scan and you will see an option so depending on uh, the programs what you're using you may go ahead and create uh, choose the restore point click on next and follow the step-by-step -step instruction to complete the system restore once it is done restart the computer and check if the problem persists so basically uh, what system restore would do is it will take your computer back to the previous state so and then see if the issue has been resolved uh, if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with a possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day